it makes your lips look like you got lip injections. This is literally the best protein powder you will ever try. It's already like bigger than my head. Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm Kylie, thank you so much for being here today. Today's video, if you couldn't already tell by the title, is my February favorites. I can't believe that we're already through February already. This year seems to be flying by, or at least to me, but I just thought I would share my favorites with you guys because this month, or at least kind of through January and February, I didn't want to make a January favorites video because I did a yearly favorites. So I just thought I would share my February slash January favorites, but I just have been loving a lot of things lately and I've been wanting to share them with you guys. So without me getting too rambly as usual, let's just get into my February favorites. The first up on the list, I wanted to share a few shows that I've been loving lately. I love TV, I love watching Netflix, I love binging shows, so I thought I would share a few of my favorites with you all. I, of course, watched Bridgerton like whenever it first came out, but as I said earlier, I didn't do a January favorites that was going to be in that video, but I just didn't want to do two favorites videos back to back, so. I loved that show, it kind of gave me Gossip Girl vibes, and I absolutely loved it. So if you haven't seen that already, I definitely recommend. I also watched The Wilds, now that's on Amazon Prime, so if you don't have that, then I'm so sorry. It is so good, it's about like a bunch of girls who get stuck on an island together, and it's so, so good. It took us like a week to get through, and we really, really liked it. So The Wilds on Amazon Prime, you should definitely check that one out. The next show recommendation I have for you guys is Firefly Lane. So this one I just finished towards the end of February, and I had to add this to the list because I didn't want to wait another month in case I was doing another favorites video to tell you guys about it. It is so good. It's heartwarming. Not too heartwarming. I don't know. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's just really good. I got through it in a few days and I just really liked it. That's one that I watched by myself. Will didn't get into it. I actually didn't really ask him to watch it with me. But yeah, it's more of like a girly show. So I definitely recommend that one. And then I have a book recommendation for you all. I have a Goodreads account, so if you wanna keep up to date on all of the books I'm reading, you should definitely check that out. I'll have the link down below, but I read The Silent Patient, and that book was so good. I've been meaning to read that for quite some time now, and I'm so glad I did. I remember my friend read that like maybe two years ago, I actually don't know when the book came out, so maybe it wasn't two years ago. But she read it a while ago before it became super popular, and she's like, you need to read this book. It is so good. And I was like, uh, I don't know, because like the title, you know, it kind of like throws you off. But I finally just read it, and it was so good. If you're like kind of into like thriller type books, then you would really like it, so I really recommend. Yeah, that's all for like the media, like book, movie, not movie, TV show stuff, so. That's all for that for now, but if you really liked me sharing like my movies, not movies. Oh, wait, I do have a movie recommendation. It's called The Chef and it's on Netflix. Will actually picked this one out. I love cooking and everything like that. We actually watched this a few, maybe a week ago. Yeah, probably a week ago. And it was so, so good. This was kind of more of like a dad and son relationship type movie. And it's about the dad who's a chef. So, so good. It's on Netflix, highly recommend. As I was saying, if you really like me sharing like my movie and TV show book recommendations, let me know and I'll do more of that in the future. I love finding good TV and movie and book recommendations, so let me know and hopefully I won't steer you wrong. <laughs> okay, so I apologize if things may look a little bit different. I had to take my dog out. So we are back, but I was getting into my next favorite, 
which is my planner. So I have had a lot of things that I have had to just write down lately and this is a very busy year for me. So if you don't know, I'm currently in the midst of planning a wedding. My fiance and I are getting married this September and there's just a lot of meetings going on. There's a lot of things that we're setting up still. So this has helped me keep track of everything. I got it from Target. It's a day designer planner and it has saved my life right now. And I haven't actually had one from Target before. So I actually love this. It's my first time using one. And it also is just really pretty. I love the layout. So it has like the monthly spread and then it'll have the weekly spread. And it has like a lot of room for you to write down everything, which I love. So it's super useful. I fill it in every week, every day, and I love it so, so much. And not just for like wedding planning. I also have my wedding planner book that I've been using for that, but this is also good for like personal stuff. It's also good for YouTube stuff and everything like that. So I've been loving this so much. I will link it down below for you guys if you're interested. Next thing that I've been loving are these towel scrunchies. They're from the brand Kish. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so <laughs> don't come for me, but these are essentially like a scrunchie that you can put in your hair to help dry your hair faster. And my Secret Santa Harmony actually got me these for Christmas and I love them so much. And they're also really cute too. I guess you can also just rock them on a daily basis. I sometimes use like my hair like towel wrap thing, but these are nice if you just wanna kind of like wear it around the house because I feel like the hair wraps kind of fall off your head and they're not like made for wearing around multiple locations in your house. So these are really nice to just throw your hair in a bun, walk around the house, or at night if I wash my hair, I like to throw my hair up in a bun, sit in bed, and drink my cup of tea type of thing. So I really like these a lot and they help absorb all of the water in your hair. The next thing that I have been loving is this huge water bottle. So this is actually only half of a gallon. Will and I both got these and we have been drinking so much more water. We are debating between getting the half gallon and the whole gallon and I wanted to only get the half gallon because I was like, no, I can just fill it up twice a day and I wanted to be able to just carry it around with me. I mean, this thing, it's already like bigger than my head, so I didn't want to get anything bigger than this, if you know what I mean. So you can definitely get the gallon size, like don't get me wrong, but also I know people are really into like the insulated water bottles that are like really big and can keep your water cold. I personally don't like cold, cold water. So this is perfect for me. And I mean, if you do, you can put ice cubes in here. It has like a really wide mouth, but this also, what also kind of sold me on this is it has a straw and you can remove this and just drink it as like a normal water bottle, but I love drinking from straws. So this is perfect. Love this, highly recommend if you're trying to drink more water, daily reminder to drink more water. Okay, these next things are like tiny, so I'm just gonna hold them up here. So the next two things are lip products that I've been loving. So this one is the Brazilian Kiss I'm not even gonna try to say it, but it's the Brazilian Kiss Lip Balm by Sol de Janeiro. I don't even know if I'm saying any of that right, but this is just what it looks like. And I got this in the box kit that I got for Christmas. Someone usually gets it for me every year and I'm very thankful because I get like the spray, the lotion, or like this this year. And very thankful because I always just get my restocks every year and it just smells so good. This is the one that I've been using like in my desk. So I always usually just keep a chapstick in my desk so that if my lips get dry while I'm working, I just throw this chapstick on and I'm good. So this is kind of like my desk chapstick, but I love it. I think it smells really good. And yeah, this has been my favorite so far. And then 
This is my new favorite lip gloss right now. It's been a favorite of mine, but I've like rediscovered it. I've been wearing it a lot more recently. It's just the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. And I apologize, there's like color in there because I put it on after I put on the lipstick. It doesn't have a color, it's the clear one. So that's that and I love it so much. It makes your lips look like you got lip injections. Like, I'm not kidding. And then this is a perfume. It's just a rollerball. I got this for Christmas this year. I actually love when people get me perfume because I don't buy myself perfume really anymore. And this one smells so good. It's called Just a Kiss by Victoria's Secret. I'm actually gonna put some on right now. And it's just like this really yummy smelling perfume. I can't really describe what it smells like. I'll put the notes on the screen. It's just good. And I also keep this in my work desk. I don't know why. Sometimes I think I forget to put on perfume for the day and I just want to smell good and I'll put some of this on and I'll be like, hmm, that smells nice. And this is what it looks like. Last but not least, some of the favorite things that I've also been loving in this month is Built Bars. So, these are so, so good. Will and I got the mixed box and they're really, really good. So the box is almost gone. We've actually tried a lot of the flavors. The banana bread flavor is really, really good to me. I love them. If you like candy bars, then you will really like these. They are like not any other protein bar that you'll ever have before. The chocolate in them are really good, like that chocolate outside coating. They're really chewy, so if you don't really like a chewy consistency, then I really wouldn't recommend them to you, but they're really good. My favorite is the coconut one, not the coconut almond. I like the coconut one the most, and the banana bread one. It tastes really good. I think I also really like the mint brownie, and then I haven't yet tried this one, the cherry barcia. Will really likes the carrot cake one. That one was really good. It actually tastes like carrot cake. German chocolate cake. I'm not a big fan of this one. It's just like, eh. You know, it doesn't have anything special. I think that's why I like the banana bread one. Toffee almond. I'm really excited to try this one. I haven't tried it yet. These are really good. And then I've heard from a friend that they're good to put in the fridge. It makes them less chewy, but I personally love that they're chewy. It reminds me of a candy bar. So if you like the candy bar consistency, then maybe try keeping them out of the fridge. I might try putting one in the fridge to see like if there's a big difference. I love them. I will be repurchasing them. They're my favorite like protein bar by far. Next is I placed an order on Alani New and I am obsessed. I will be repurchasing stuff from them from now on instead of like the other protein powder or pre-workout, like 10 out of 10, I'm obsessed. So I actually purchased this Breezeberry pre-workout and they sent me the wrong one. So now I have two. I have the pink guava and now I have the Breezeberry one. So kind of got like a two for one situation. I actually like both of them. I like the pink guava and the breezeberry, so I can't complain. They're both really, really good. I think I do tend to like gravitate more towards the pink guava. I don't know why. I don't know, but they're both really, really good. And then this is literally the best protein powder you will ever try. We got the Munchies protein powder. It is so good. So this protein powder is caramel pretzel and chocolate chip cookie. I know, I know, I know. And it actually has like bits and pieces in it. It is so, so good. I cannot recommend this enough. It And it smells so good. I will recommend this with milk instead of water. I've learned that the hard way. So if you're not a milk person, almond milk, that's what I use it with, but so yeah, highly recommend that. It is literally my favorite protein powder and Will likes it too. He loves it. So glad that we found that. So yeah, those are my favorites of February. I think that's everything. Everything's just sitting on the floor in front of me and I'm like, did I forget anything? <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite thing from February was. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.